so in this PowerPoint I'll explain how to do a design brief. The design brief is done in the first step of the design process. Define the problem. One way to define the problem is through the use of a design brief. This concise document, no more than one page usually, identifies the client, clearly states his or her problem or need, details the degree to which the engineer will carry out the solution, and lists the rules and limits within which the engineer must perform. This is an example of a design brief. The design brief serves as an agreement between the client and the engineer. The engineer will often return to the design brief throughout the design process in order to gauge the progress and validity of the creative work. The first thing on the design brief is the client name. The client is usually a person, company, organization, or target consumer group whose problem or need requires the talents of an engineer, designer to develop a physical solution. Sometimes the client company and target consumer are different. In this situation, an additional section is added to include the target consumer. Next is the designer. This is usually where your name will go. The designer is the creative problem solver. Engineers are only one type of designer. They perform engineering design. Next is the problem statement. The problem statement clearly and concisely identifies the problem. The problem in this situation is my school locker is a mess. I can never find a pen, pencil, or calculator. My homework is always getting lost, and my lunch gets crushed under a sea of books and binders. Because of the clutter, it is hard to close my locker door completely. So now is the design statement. What are you going to do about the problem? The design statement must include the word design. It clearly and concisely explains how you plan to solve this problem. So in the design statement, it says, design, model, and test a high school locker organization system that will neatly contain items commonly used and kept in school lockers. Next is the constraints. Giving an engineer an unlimited amount of time and money to complete a job is impractical. Limitations must be imposed. Constraints can be thought of as guidelines that must be followed or rules that must not be broken. In this situation, they are given two weeks to design and build, a maximum cost of $40, a size limit of 8 inches by 8 inches, by 48 inches. They cannot use flammable materials and it must be easy to install. Examples could be time, budget, established codes, materials and manufacturing processes, physical attributes like size, weight, color, etc., safety and aesthetics. The last thing that is written on the design brief is the deliverables. What is expected to be turned in? In this case, it's the initial sketches, 3D CAD models and assemblies, technical drawings, project design journal, and a PowerPoint for a presentation.